Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to Tailor Made Beauty by Chris. Today we are talking about the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I first heard about this foundation watching Tati's channel, and she raved and raved about this foundation. So I went and checked it out. It is a bargain, $11. I did have to get it from the Catrice website. What it has to say is that it is a lightweight foundation texture that melts into skin for a real skin finish. And that's something certainly Tati was going on about. Formulated with hydrating hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil. Medium to high coverage. Buildable and long wearing. Available in 20 shades. It's cruelty free and vegan. I did a full three-day test of it, so let's get into it. Before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I have already been using this foundation for a few days, and on my skin, which is actually, um, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I'm normal, and I have a little bit of texture here, not too bad. I don't really suffer with big pores. Um, you know, I've got lines and wrinkles that foundations tend to settle in. Having said all of that, I do not like how this uh, foundation performs without a primer. So today, for sunscreen, I have my Australian Gold sunscreen. And that one dries down more matte than my other one, the Dermatology. So I was really curious how that one's going to go today. And I have the Shiseido Wasso um, Poreless Matte Primer. This is the one that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on my forehead. Because sometimes, uh, even with normal skin, maybe I'll get a little shiny there. And then my nose, pressing it a little bit out on the sides there where I have a little bit of texture. And lastly, um, my chin. Face masks, right? I <laughs> try to get foundation to stay on, and I do need to run out and run some errands today. And by the way, the instructions on this Shiseido primer say to let it dry for uh, or set up for um, a minute, so we will. Today I am using a damp beauty blender to apply the foundation. This is shade uh, 015 Warm Vanilla. And of course the challenge is find your shade online. This is not too bad. It's a generous pump and you can see that it's a little runny but not super, super runny. So I'm going to start with it on my forehead. And there you can see it does give nice medium coverage. In fact, I would say maybe even a little bit more than medium. Let's do this side. Let's get closer. Here we are about seven and a half, eight hours after I finished up my makeup today. And I gotta say, because I told you I've been um, trying this for a few days, and today honestly is the worst. Oh my gosh. It, it broke up immediately right here. And it has settled into these lines, and it looks horrible. I can see it sitting on top of my skin. I look like a bad doll. This is the worst. Oh my gosh. And I'm a little surprised. The only thing I can think that the only thing I changed was that Australian gold, which, um, you know, I mean, I let it dry down for well over a half hour, like maybe 45 minutes, maybe even 
yeah, about 45 minutes before I put makeup on today. So that really, really surprised me. Normally, if I let those um, sunscreens dry down a lot, they don't have any issue. But clearly, today was a failure. So tomorrow I'm going back to my dermatology and let's see if we don't have a better one tomorrow. Welcome to day two. And as I was washing my face last night, I realized that Australian Gold probably got a bum rap yesterday because I remembered and I saw that I had tried this Dr. Jart uh, Sika Pear. It's supposed to be an anti-redness um, cream. As you can see, it is quite thick and has a slightly green tint to it. And I noticed as I put it on my face yesterday, it took forever to rub in. And uh, even though it did dry down for that, like I said, 30 to 45 minutes, I have a feeling this was the culprit, not this. So to be fair, to be scientific, today, it did not use this. I did use this, and oh, once again, I've done the Shiseido primer, so really the only thing we are changing is the removal of the Dr. Jart product. So let's give this a try today. I am using a damp Real, Tex Real Techniques Beauty Blender because I feel like that shears out the coverage, but you can see the side with the foundation that bare skin, that it does give nice coverage. It has been eight hours since I put this on, and while it is a lot better than yesterday, it's still got some flaws. It's caking here. It did not settle as badly into my lines, but I do feel like it is sitting on top of my face close up, it does really look like makeup. Having said that, and that has been my experience, uh, like I said, for the last several days while I've been doing this, this foundation, um, like at a social distance, like if you're a good two, three feet away from somebody, looks really beautiful. This is um, certainly a heavier coverage than I am used to wearing. They say medium, I would say medium to full. Uh, so, but tomorrow we'll, I'll go back to my uh, dermatology sunscreen and we'll try a different primer and let's see what we can get out of it tomorrow. Day three, I am back to using my dermatology uh, sunscreen and I am going to use my Pat McGrath Sub uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection um, what is this stuff? Primer! Because it is tried and true and I know that it works under the vast majority of foundations that I own. Also today we are actually having a nice sunny day here in Seattle and so I should be able to get outside and take some pictures. And I am going to use my uh, IT Cosmetics for Ulta foundation brush today. Honestly, this is, I think, my favorite foundation brush. I kind of come and go on whether I like to apply foundation with a brush or not. Let's care, compare the coverage this side with the brush applied foundation. This side here, not. Okay. I am completely confused. As I've mentioned, I used this foundation for a few days before starting to shoot this and I don't remember having these problems, but now I'm thinking it's maybe because I wasn't paying attention like I do when I'm shooting for you. I'm going to bring you close 
to my chin area. Honestly, I just looked, I have a 7X mirror in my bathroom. I have a 10X down here. I have a 7X. And oh my God, I feel like my chin area looks like an elephant. It's horrible. It is so bad. I want to go wipe this all off. But let me, let me bring you in close. It's no bueno. Uh, I'm gonna go to my bathroom, see what I can do, and maybe this is the end of testing on this foundation. We'll see. Well, I don't know if I have ever used a foundation that I have hated that much. I did take uh, an indoor picture under indoor lights and what it looks like in natural light. We had a sunny day yesterday, but I just couldn't even bring myself to shoot the end of day footage yesterday. It just looked awful. And the only conclusion I could come to was those few days I used it earlier. I just wasn't paying that close of attention to. So, wow, yeah, a rare, complete failure, but that foundation was just no bueno on my skin. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the YouTube stuff below and have a fantastic day.